So this video is going to be about how I connected the trinary switch from the vintage air air conditioning to turn on fan one when I have an LS swap and the ECU likes to check the relays to see if they're working. What I found out originally I took the trinary grounding signal and I hooked it up directly to the fan one relay. Well, that caused me a problem. Every time the fan came on and the ECU checked the fan when relay to see if it was good, it would give me a check engine light and a P0480 code, which meant I had a malfunction in my fan one or my low speed fan control module. Um, if I would have hooked it up to fan two, I would have got a P0481 code. So you can get one of those two based on which relay you connected it. So I came up with a better idea. I added a third relay. So now I have a relay for the trinary switch, a relay for fan one, and a relay for fan two. Now, the trinary switch is connected to the fan one relay on pin 87A. 87A is normally closed. So this way, if the trinary switch is turned on from the air conditioner and turns on the trinary relay, that sends 12 volts B plus through the fan one relay through 87A directly to the fan and turns the fan on. Good thing about that is that the ECU checks the fan one relay it gets its 80 ohms that it sees, and it thinks it's good, and I don't get any errors, but I can turn the fan on. Now, if the ECU wants to turn the fan on, it's going to do what it wants to do, and it's not going to affect anything because you have power. So let's say the trinary relay is on, sending power to the fan one, and it switches over because... The engine got hot enough and the ECU said, let's turn on fan one. It's just going to switch from one power source to another. And it does it fast enough. It keeps the fan running and there's no blip or anything like that. It just connects real fast and the fan keeps running. This way, both relays will turn the fan on when needed. And if it's already on through fan one through the ECU and the trinary switch goes and turns on, it's not going to cause a problem because it's just going to send power to a pin that's not connected, which is A7A. That provides a pretty good way of hooking up your trinary switch to your fan one relay without causing an ECU error if you're connecting it to the ground signal for turning on the relay where the same line from your ECU is connected to that relay because your ECU will see the ground when the trinary switch is trying to turn on that fan and it sees the ground as a fault and it's going to give you a P04 80 or a P0481 based on which relay you're connected to. And this circuit that I should have up, it should be showing you three relays right now, will provide you a way to feed one of your relays from the trinary switch and not cause a P0 480 or a P0481 and a check engine light, which you're going to think that you're having some big problems. So hope it helps you out. Hope it works for you. And that's it. Have a great one. Bye.